United States, if you are a young black person, a, a young black man in particular, you are more likely to, to die uh, by firearms than in any other, you know, cause of, of cause of death. Here in Mexico, you know, we've learned that black and indigenous people are most vulnerable. We have issues with our municipal police. We have issues with the National Guard. We have issues with uh, the military and military weapons that are flowing or going into our into our communities. So that's really what I'm taking most is that uh, we have very similar fights and that if we can build international solidarity, uh, we are much stronger and better able uh, to, to, to stop uh, that's taking place in our communities. The problems of violence in the United States and the problems of violence in Mexico are intimately connected. They're intimately connected by the gun, by the AR-15 or the assault rifle, but they're also intimately connected by the suffering of family members in both countries, of the fear that people live with, of the sense that there's nothing they can do, the sense that the gun companies don't care, that the governments don't care.